So uh, let's dive into this. We're going to dive into this video. This is from uh, Esau and Andy Worski had a conversation. I had a conversation about the Indiegogo. I want to make sure the volume's not too crazy. Yeah, yeah, actually, I want to say, well, I, 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 like, a best job to people you have watching right now or whatever. Mm -hmm. There is something I do want to talk about that it's been on my mind that I think is important for me to announce now. Um, so basically, the Indiegogo with Warski mm -hmm. and Ralph hasn't come to me yet. Someone no, had took it no, out. It takes like 15 days for that to come. That's what, what I've heard. And okay, so normally, yes, 15 days when you get all the documentation in uh, before it finalizes because it gives them a, the time to process it. Everything goes through Indiegogo's trust and safety now because of things like uh, that GoFundMe scam couple who uh, did the thing with the homeless man, other people who have scammed uh, money off of crowdfunding sites as well. So Worski did not receive the money. I can, I can attest that because I have the, uh, I have the email. It's the email that I set up for the Miami trip. And so I was managing all that in the back end. Now, the money did not get sent out, and I received a call from Andy on Saturday saying he wanted me to uh, handle the Indiegogo in relation to what the conversation here happened. So I'm going to let this play a little more, and you'll see what I'm talking about. And it's been, it's been three weeks or a month, so I'm like, what the fuck? But <clears throat> because of the footage mm -hmm. that we got, which is very minimal, mm -hmm. uh, because there was – a lot of hullabaloo there because the footage that's extra that other people filmed that i already i already lost money on it that's fine i am going to go into the indiegogo and just click the fucking refund button so you got all that money, money which is which is 3600 not 4100 okay. because someone took out money uh, no one, Andy was misinformed on this. No one took out money. What it was is Indiegogo held back 300 for chargebacks and any kind of incidentals if someone uh, wanted a refund, as well as 200 and some change uh, for them, uh, the service fee. So they have a 5% service fee. That's what the, the difference was. So the 3,600 was the total payout that Worski and Ralph would get from the Indiegogo after fees from Indiegogo and Indiegogo holding on to 300 of it in case of uh, chargebacks. Now, after X amount of time and the product being listed as completed, they would have sent that money out to Andy. So in 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 reality, it would have been 4,900 or 4,800. I mean, pardon me, 3,800. And the... Uh, the money would have been sent out to them after they held it for, I don't, I don't know their hold policy for refunds, et cetera. But after that was done, they would have uh, dispersed that. I'm done with it. Okay. No one has like, like if, if, even if there was fucking footage, which I wanted there to be, mm -hmm. um, I would be the one who had to fucking do everything. Mm -hmm. I was the one who has to hire the people. I was the one who, I, and you know what? Because there, like, we weren't doing what should have been done. Mm -hmm. This is a, a learning experience for me. Well, well, uh, well, I've been already stewing on this for the last few days, and well, I'm, me, I don't want that fucking money. Well, let, I do let, not let, want let, that let money. Let me stop you there. Let me stop you there. Let me stop you there. Yeah. So what you're saying is you're gonna refund the money to the people who gave you guys money, all of them. Yeah. All of it. I'm gonna hit like the like the cancel. I'm gonna phone Indiegogo. I want everything that was donated. That looks <laughs> now. That has been done because, as I said, Andy reached out to me on Saturday, and since I was managing the Indiegogo back end and all that, and waiting for dealing with Indiegogo on that shit, uh, it was a huge pain in the ass waiting for them to get back to me. I actually reached out a few times to see what was going on uh, because my 350 was supposed to come out of that for my February payment. Uh, Andy is still 
uh, going to send that to me. Uh, when we talked on Saturday, it was supposed to be either Sunday or today. He was going to get it out to me. So hopefully sometime by the end of today, I'll uh, be paid in full. And that'll, that all will be done. I know Chris has been paid. I think Chris deserves a little bit of money for March. That's my personal opinion for the simple fact that Chris and myself both went out there as a job. Now, shit happened and I and Andy had a falling out and therefore we parted ways while in Miami. Now, I told Andy before and... uh, and, and people can attest to this, so Cal can because he was in the call, that I did not expect any kind of pay for March because, well, he paid for the flight out there. And then uh, the expectation was, you know, we would pay for um, the stuff going through uh, with what was funded, right? Well, Chris went out as a job. So Cal Chris went out as a job, has a family, and spent a week and a half away from his family because it was work in his eyes. So I think personally, this is my personal opinion, uh, that Andy should pay Chris something for March. Chris tried his damnedest to get footage together. Same with me. And the footage is going to be released because I'm sending it over to Gino to put together an edit on it, and then Gino's going to pass it over to Andy, and Andy can do a vocal commentary or anything like that if he'd like. Now, the Andy Go Go. I'm going to pull it up so you guys can see it, but I have to make sure that I don't have anyone's information on the screen. So I'm going to continue playing this, and I'm going to flip over to my secondary set of uh, windows so I can actually uh, make sure nothing is wrongly displayed because I'm not a fan of putting out people's personal information now look give me a second bro i'm sorry now i'm, I'm gonna get you on this now if that money don't sure. get refunded now if you want to make youtube your thing you got to make sure that money gets refunded because it's on my channel and all these people in here if you True. you know they're gonna let no, gonna no, no. I, I swear my mom's life i swear okay. my mom's life i swear on my father's life i swear mm-hmm. on everyone believe this is the one that, I'm gonna uh, take your word for it, and I'm, and I'm gonna I'm gonna look like a jackass. Oh yeah, no, 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 dude, dude. I I would never, I would never, I would never say what I'm saying right now. Okay. And then not do it because I I know it would. It's like taking a and shovel and AG? burying myself even deeper than I already AG? am. SoCal. Now those guys that were supposed to get paid, did they get paid for doing their work? I paid SoCal Chris, mm-hmm. AG Luck, uh, not yet, but, but you're going he, to. Uh, but uh, I'm gonna be fully honest with 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 those guys. Mm-hmm. When I have the money coming in from YouTube to pay AG, I'm gonna fucking finish that up because that was from the month before. So Cal, and there you go. For anyone who has thought that it was payment for the work at hand, no, it was my pay for February's work of setting up and managing uh, back end stuff, doing all that stuff. I have not been paid. So Cal has been paid. Was a hundred percent paid, and I paid for his flights, food. So if we ask Uber, SoCal, he'll, all that bullshit. So, so if we ask SoCal, what, he'll he'll answer that, right? Yes, hundred percent. Yeah, he okay. he better, or I'm gonna fucking show my PayPal fucking uh, uh transactions. Um, AG luck though. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be, <laughs> those guys because I promised the money. Mm-hmm. But I'll, again, since there's no Andy Kogo, the I think I owe him. Uh, the, uh, fucking AG three fifty left. Correct. Now okay. I'm fine with that being on my um like I'm fine with that being my fucking loss mm-hmm. because I tried something, everything was a shit show, and it fucking it all fucking fell apart. I do appreciate his ownership in that. I do want to pull this over for you guys, um, so you can see. I have to. Pop it out real quick. Hold on. I do want you guys to see this. So what you have here, for anyone who uh, didn't uh, know what was going on, and I was waiting, so if anyone had any questions, so they would know what was going on. Uh, Thanks for checking in on your campaign's disbursement. This was April 12th. 
I apologize for our confusion. Our records show that your campaign still needs to be reviewed by Trust and Safety Team. Indiegogo has a thorough review process that each and every project undergoes before we send funds to the bank account linked to the campaign. Once a campaign is set up for disbursement or bank identity information is updated, the campaign t- typically enters disbursement cycle the following week. This is when the campaign is reviewed by Trust and Safety Team. Projects are then disbursed in a batch once a week. Understand that your fund, uh, you'd like your funds to be transferred, so we'll check on your campaign status and find out if they can prioritize the review for you. Uh, and then they go into it. Um, all I had sent them to find out what was going on was a a reach out, be like, hey, it's been you know X amount of time since banking information was dropped in. It took him a long time to own it. Yes. It took him a long time to own it, but he's owning it now. And uh, nonetheless, as long as the person owns their bullshit, I I can be fine with that because I can respect that. If you can't own your own fuck ups and mistakes, whether it takes you a month to get there or two months or three months, whatever the case may be, just own your shit. So let's let's continue. That's my fault. That's 100 percent my fault. Mm-hmm. Whether I, I could blame whoever was there and we didn't do this or doing that, but in the end, when you run something, mm-hmm. this is what I'm learning now. When you run something and you don't go, hey, look, if you don't fucking do that, then you're not getting paid. I should have been like that type of boss. I would have to be that type of boss. I can't be the, yo, what up, cool fuck. I will disagree with that statement for the simple fact of... It was for, our payments were for February, which we did everything we needed to do for February. So the money wise isn't the issue. Now, when you're, the one thing that I wish Andy could see, and I wish Andy would recognize is when you tell someone they're in charge of managing the event and they are working with other people who are on the team to bring things and then they're. They're showing it, um, they have, you know, like like I had a list of things set up. I had conferred with SoCal and, and you know, just conversations with Andy about things that he wanted to do there. And so we had worked out a kind of a schedule on what we wanted to accomplish for filming and whatnot. And that wasn't able to be followed, not, not blaming only Andy, but because of situations where Ralph was dealing with Ralph. Uh, there were, there was times where Ralph was doing his live stream. There was times where Ralph was drinking and other things that went by the wayside and, uh, things like, uh, getting started way too late in the day, etc. Now you can be a strict boss as much as you want, but you have to be the example. If you're going to lead people, if you're going to be the one setting the, the standards, you have to be the example. So you have to be up bright and early. You have to be the one that is gung-ho and getting everyone ready to go. Now, if you're not able to do that because of situations like people wanting to sleep in or uh, too much drinking, etc., then you're going to lose control of the situation and shit's going to fall apart. And that's on me and Andy in that regard, because as much as I tried to manage things when it came to schedule setting and, you know, filming setting, uh, I can only do what I can get the people around me to do. Now, as you all know, I'm not afraid to challenge people. I, I'm going to be direct. I'm going to be an asshole sometimes, and it's going to get me in trouble. It has gotten me in trouble in life, but. If, if my little bit of guidance is followed, things will get accomplished because I have a good foresight. I have a good ability to manage people if they want and allow themselves to be managed. Now, is that saying that I'm the ultimate boss? No, not at all. That would never be the case because it's not my shit. It's not my reputation on the line, but, but. If you just release the reins just a little bit, things get a little easier on yourself and others around you. And Andy knows that. And, and that, 
I mean, that's pretty much the conversation we had on Saturday. And he apologized for his part and things. And I owned the shit where I shouldn't have yelled at him on camera. I did because, well, I couldn't get him to stop being on camera. And we, we both owned our fuck ups. That's fine. But the whole purpose of him reaching out on Saturday was for this. This stream was either on Thursday or Friday night. He reached out to have me go in and handle the Indiegogo. Fucking uh, trying to be everyone's best friend guy when it comes to other people's fucking money. If it was my money, I don't give a fuck. Right? You know, like, you know what I mean? I got a dollar donation from Captain Lee. I challenge you, Andy, to infl uh, in what's this? Inflatable, inflatable sumo wrestle. I'm throwing down the gauntlet. Inflatable. All right, yo, I, I accept that challenge. <laughs> I accept that. You don't know, um, inflatable. You don't know, like you wear like the the yeah. giant suit. Let's fucking do it. You DM me or or did you DM me that? I, I'll do no, that. That, that was fun. a donation. That was a donation. You tell that person where we'll have a whole fucking a whole like show of it. <laughs> it sounds fun, but I I, I and I'm not doing like I'm doing this. I talked to a bunch of, like, I brought it up to Geek and a bunch of people. And every t every person I've told, I'm like, hey, I think I'm going to just refund that money because I I'm looking at what we have. And I, if I were a person donating, I'd be like, what the fuck is this? And that was definitely the case. The benefit we did have while we were out there is we got to meet um, one of Ralph's fans. We got to meet Alex, who was a Ralph fan. Became an Andy fan because, well, 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 he spent more time with Andy, me, and failure, and the guys because Ralph was doing his own thing. And, um, well, I mean, we couldn't nail things down and get people to, you know, move in the same direction in a lot of situations when there were fights and other things. Um, so, I had been thinking about this for a long time and I was tempted to basically tell Andy that it needs to be done. I haven't talked to Andy since this Saturday was one of the first times I had talked to Andy. I'd reached out to Alex after I clipped the, uh, the, uh, incident that night where, well, shit happened and a weapon was brandished, etc. And this was me reaching out to say, Hey dude, you need to use this part because, well, it shows, you know, some things and that will occur later and that you can point to the fact that they already knew you had a weapon, etc. It was just, you know, a good faith reach out and just like, hey, dude, here's something you might want to share with your uh, defense uh, attorney. The uh, Andy reached out on Saturday and was like going over stuff. Um, tell me what he wanted to do with the Indiegogo and like. Uh, before he did any of that shit, he went through and, you know, owned his part of the situation. And, well, the Indiegogo has now been refunded. I'll show you guys that after. And I don't want to be the fucking mighty number nine of of uh, shows. I know I, I use video game references a lot when I'm talking about the shit. But yeah. uh, you think it's a good idea what I'm doing, right? The refunding, because I think I saw, there's no, there's there's no, 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 hold on. It's not about if it's a good idea or not. It's about it's something that needs to be done. Look, look, once again, dude. It, it, yeah, exactly. as of yeah, right now, right. I want you to I want you to realize something. Uh, and I want you to realize something. As yeah. of now, in this stream, I'm the only mm. person that is, is giving you an opportunity to speak without giving you shit. Now, do, should I be giving you shit? Absolutely. But I'm sitting here and I'm letting you say what needs to be said. You need to refund uh -huh. people. You need to yeah. pay those guys, and you need to whenever that court thing or whatever. So Cal, thing, I have to pay. I have to pay AG. So Cal, AG. he's paid. He's and So Cal is paid for February. I think if you toss him some money for the 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 situation with uh, Miami, that'd be a good look, and it'd be a good thing to do. Well, also for the simple fact that his flight. Back, I think SoCal had to book another flight because his goddamn Uber driver got into a car accident on the way to the airport, and therefore Chris missed his uh, missed his plane. So I think even if you just maybe toss him that side of the plane ticket, that would be a good look. And also the simple fact that Chris came out and came out for work with the understanding that he was going to get paid something for March. Uh, the work that month and didn't 
And so maybe maybe toss him some money in that regard. I don't know. I think uh, I think that would be a very good idea. I again severed ties. Do not expect shit. Do not expect to be paid anything because, like I stated when we first flew out in March, that the flight and that stuff was pay enough. And now it's technically Andy has paid it on that in regards to the month of March. Now, February, he still owes me 354. He's going to make good on it. Hopefully very soon. I hope very soon. But now the money that was paid for the trip actually did come out of Andy's wallet because there is no Indiegogo money at all. SoCal said he he's you owe him two fifty. I sent him two fifty. Okay. Well that, I'll, you know, I'll, that... I'll go through the PayPal transaction, SoCal. Okay. Um but anyway, uh I'll I'll go through the fucking transactions and I'll post them if I have to. That's totally fine. But the five five hundred he was paid, plus I paid a fucking shit ton. And AJ owed three fifty, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And and, and look and then SoCal says he pay- can't remember. So that's between you and SoCal, but if you owe him you should pay him. I one hundred percent paid two fifty before you started SoCal. Yeah. Or the first week you were there. And then I paid two fifty last week or two weeks ago. So the two the, the five hundred in total was split in half. Plus I played the I paid the flights, plus I, I paid that fucking hundred and sixty fucking Uber, plus I paid your dinners and stuff. I paid you in two separate installments. I'll go through the fucking uh, PayPal. I'll send it to, to Esau if he needs to see it. Now, I will say this. I did not, uh, because of shit going on, because of me and Andy blowing up, and because of us getting into scuffles um, at the end of the week, I didn't go out to lunch with them. I didn't go out to dinner with them very often. I let them do their things. I filmed when I needed to. And uh, that footage will all be released. I did not... I paid for my shit on my own. Because a lot of the time when, when confrontation happened, I avoided the situation because I didn't want to ruin footage or ruin the trip. Uh, for that situation. And so obviously Thursday, Friday, I didn't go out to dinner with them. Also, they, there were a few times where they went to grab food, like at McDonald's and stuff. And like, I've cut back and was cut back on carbs and other shit at that time and didn't want to eat that shit. So I ended up, you know, doing stuff when we were all going to do things and film and whatnot. But then when it was just like, oh, let's go grab food, it was like, oh, I'm good, you know, and I chilled out. So AG three fifty, hundred percent. I'm not gonna be a, a fucking dick about it. Anyway, okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, someone saying uh, who messaged me saying they're lied because they know SoCal was paid. Don't take the bait. I won't take the bait. Thank you, buddy, who texted me. No, I I know I paid him. Okay, like SoCal. I will reveal everything that I paid SoCal, okay? So that's the end of that. Uh, and it saddens me. Um, like, AG's been very supportive. Mm-hmm. Um, SoCal sort of fucking flipped on me. But a- AG's been really cool. I like AG a lot. And me and him have buried the hatchet on our fucking little uh, squabble. Which I'm... This is what I want to do, Esau. I don't want to be, fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck you, and fuck... It's fucking... It's it's annoying. Do you know how annoying it is? It's just this constant like who and that's why I want to give everyone back the money that they rightfully deserve. And anything that I do, any projects that I do from now on, it's gonna be out of my own pocket. Anyway, yeah. Okay. So a lot of people will uh, will wonder whether it was processed. Here you go, guys. Let me switch to articles. So, whoop, wrong one. So you can see a bigger view. Now, not too long ago, it said 4,100. It says zero by zero backers. It's because I, 
personally went through, Indiegogo is a pain in the ass, by the way. Indiegogo is a huge pain in the fucking ass because you can't just mass refund. You have to go through every single backer and refund it. You have to go through every single backer and refund it. So you can see this is freaking the actual website. Um, it's been refunded. It was processed yesterday. It'll take three to three to five business days for American cards. So anything U.S. cards. Um, uh, SoCal Chris did that. It was a, I believe he used Photoshop on that picture of them in Knoxville. This picture, it's that picture down there. SoCal Chris put that together. Um, I do want to pull up something, so I'm going to pop my cam over. And anyone like Cog or anyone else who needs uh, this can adjust, can take a look at it. So I'm going to hit refresh so it actually uh, bounces and you can see that it's the Indiegogo. I just don't want to leak anyone's information. So these are all the contributions uh, from the event that's the bottom that's page two and then page three there's only one person on that page um so yeah so it's all been refunded there is no money coming into the account there will be no money there at yeah, all so um that is what's going on that is all done. The uh, refunds have been processed out. Uh, yeah. So, I mean, the footage, We I did talk to Andy about that. He's going to, and I'm going to be dropping it to, to Gino. Obviously, I'm still going to hold until, well, once the 350 hits within, hopefully today. Um, then it will be... Uh, uh, there were a lot of uh, people who donated big funds. There's a lot of people who, uh, what's it called, were wanting to show support and help with that project. It's a bummer the project ended the way it did. It would have been cool to have it, uh, have it be finalized and be an awesome thing. It is what it is, but at least the one thing is, is at least uh, what was and should have been done by the uh, people are 